What's up everyone? Kyron back up in here with another video and today we are going to do a little follow-up to the vintage video that we did uh, at Palmo Goods. So we're gonna do the haul as well as Meg's closet tour, which is really exciting. She has a whole bunch of good drip in here and you guys you guys did 1600 likes, you know what I mean? I don't really ask for likes, but it really helped with the algorithm, you know? So if you have, if you wanna bless the boy with a couple of, of likes, you can meet 1600 again and then I'll give you another, maybe another closet tour. Maybe uh, a homie's closet tour. Mine is gonna, you, you need 2K likes for that one. 2K likes on this, maybe. But this, this is what I got from Palmo Goods. Um, this is the first item, just some double knee Carhartt pants. I've been wanting a baggy pair of these and it's been hard to find one that fits perfectly. This is like 36 length, so I like them to stack a lot and like a 33 or a 32 waist. So they're baggy, little mid to low waisted action, good wash fit perfectly, really nice. So the next pair is this flared pair of Levi's, kind of like a darker wash. This is 34 by 32. Um, they fit more like a 31 by 32, I would say. Um, after the washing process and all that, they're a 506. I've never had this model before, but they're flared, really, really nice. Never had this model, but they fit crazy. I'll probably have to do an outfit video with this soon. Uh, this I can't really show you guys because my hair is in a ponytail, but trust me, it looks great. Uh, I tried it on in the video. It's this Pag Speeds little, almost looks like a, like a train conductor hat, pretty funny. But it has a nice wash, good distressing, little flappy brim, it's cool. Lots of character. And the last little bits are just white tees. Can't have enough white tees. I love when they're like paper thin and really soft. So if you guys are looking for white tees, definitely just like try and source some vintage ones. I find those to be the best most of the time. If not, then they're, I'm like Philly, Philly down. So I always do the Ralph Lauren ones. So those are my two suggestions for white tees. But all of that out of the way, we're gonna get into Meg's closet tour right now. I'm gonna intro her real quick. Hi, so today we're gonna do my closet tour. I didn't think I'd do a closet tour cause my actual closet is not as kind of pleasing to look at or as organized as this one. So this is in another room in my apartment. We just laid out my best outfits and not, sorry, not my best outfits, my best items and I'll walk you through them. So it's not everything, but it's kind of what we thought matched the vibe of each other. Okay. Yeah, so what type of styles are we gonna see in your closet? Like what are you gravitating towards these days? Your personal so, style, all that. Because it's like the winter, I'm feeling a little more like dark and kind of like cyber inspired, but we also have some like fall, summer type clothing, which is a bit more pop be a bit more colorful and a bit more like Americana inspired so there are a few different types of styles in my closet because I feel like I have a lot of everything but I'm trying to curate it down to have like a much smaller wardrobe because it just gives me anxiety to have too many pieces so this is like helping me realize that I need to get rid of a lot of my everyday clothes we'll just start so we'll start with like uppers so these are some classics and funky pieces so i'll take the first one out so the first one i recently uh bought from our pop-up sale that wasn't too long ago it's like an ed hardy graphic tee i kind of so i'm not usually into like tacky pieces but i really liked this one because it's also really well preserved has a lot of nice detailing and i just find the the cut really flattering i also was wearing like a full rick outfit that day and for some reason it suited it really well so i was like okay i think i can make this work but i wouldn't typically gravitate towards things that are so intense so then we have just i just wanted to show a few of my like best basics right now so i've been loving skims it's actually the most comfortable like everyday kind of shape wherever so uh i just wanted to show like a classic tee and like a classic long sleeve so usually i would wear this under and then kind of layer from there especially like anytime that's not summer i'm wearing this on the bottom and then layering on top another so all another couple funky pieces um this is like my favorite i just wanted to show something like going out wear this is definitely my favorite going out top i find it really flattering okay so yeah i find this really this style really great because i work in nightlife and um it's good to just have like fun shirts so most of them are from imgia because i find they're like the best 
quality and most like wearable nightlife stuff. Then we have a fun little Playboy shirt that I got off Depop. I just love it, very on brand obviously. I was telling Kai like, oh, maybe I should sell it because I find it hard to wear like a classic like vacation cut shirt with like the kind of like wide, you know, dad on vacation kind of vibe. But then we thought, no, I can, I can make it work. It just has to be with the right things. Then we have my favorite thing, which is just so much Paisley. I love Paisley. So this is from World of Outlaws. This was a custom color job that they did. I love the colors on this and it's just great to throw on top of like any basic and like spice up the outfit. Then we, and it's obviously very inspired off this piece, which is the capital um, like bandana, but this is more of like a fleecy material, thicker, and it's also reversible. So I was originally gonna get the purple um, kind of like bandana material one, like this material, but then I found this one in Toronto. So I'm having some trouble here. It's reversible to blue, which I love because it makes it like that much more wearable. If it doesn't go with purple, it'll probably go with the blue. So yeah, love this piece. This is definitely one of my favorite favorite pieces in my closet. So as for like the only dress shirt I included, um, it's the Comme des Garçons kind of like lustrous green shirt. This is my absolute favorite color to wear because it goes very well with the hair color. As all redheads know, green is like our best friend. So I love this shirt. Unfortunately, I'm kind of a dummy and I hand washed it, which it says not to do. So we're trying to figure out how to get these crinkles out. If you know how to like hard press a shirt like this to get the wrinkles out, let me know because I'm probably gonna have to bring it to the dry cleaner and see what they can do for me but Yeah, this is just a great shirt to like dress it up next for hoodies, we have like a classic classic crew neck I have a lot of just basic crew necks. This is basic too, but it's the capital smiley crew neck Um, this has already like worn in a lot even though I've only worn it a few times I find like it's it's aging like already which I don't mind at all, but yeah and this is one of my favorite hoodies. It's the St. Woods kind of like classic, like Von Dutch style logo hoodie. Um, love this hoodie, super comfortable. And this is a bit of a wild piece, but it's this pre-workshop cat suit. Um, it's obviously very tight and I just find it's like a great piece to like either wear on its own or layer after. The only time I've worn it is actually on Halloween with like a harness and stuff like that is Black Widow. Um, but yeah, so I haven't actually styled it to be like taken seriously, but soon. The next piece is just a classic blazer because I think everyone needs a classic blazer in their wardrobe. This one is vintage Calvin Klein. It fits perfectly and it's just a staple. Then for fleeces, I recently got this fleece. It's by Levi's, believe it or not. Um, I just really liked the like kind of odd colors you wouldn't think to put like a green with a purple um and it's like it's just a great uh fall piece but also like fleeces are up going absolutely mental recently so i noticed that piece gets a lot of love on the gram this one is like my i'm obsessed with this it's like kind of like a i don't know sherpa fleece st woods piece it's like a super oversized hoodie and it just is so warm and cozy okay so now we're getting into jackets um <laughs> This is my Rick coat that I have that's matching Kai's. So we have the exact same coat. It's just great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Don't have much else to say about that. Under the coat, on, under any coat I wear, I'm always wearing this vest. It's an Arc'teryx just classic woman's vest. It is the best decision I've ever made. It keeps you so warm and it allows you to like, I don't know how to say, like it allows me to be more fashionable and still stay warm because I can wear something nicer under it and then go wherever I have to go or like wear a nicer jacket, more stylish jacket than I'd like because this is like what's keeping me warm. So I love this. This is something I thrifted in Brooklyn. It's just like a very shiny kind of faux fur bomber style jacket. I just thought the shape with faux fur was really interesting. You don't see that too often. So I picked it up and um, I like it. It's kind of like a, a wild piece in my closet. Then we have to pull out the Arky for all the Arky bros. <laughs> What do you even call the Arcteryx community? Um, the Gorp community? Right, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess, bros. yeah, yeah, the Gorp bros. This is just a classic, uh, what is this, like a beta SL or something? Mm. Don't, don't get that in there if I said the wrong one. <laughs> They're gonna come for me. But, do you remember what this is? Beta LT or beta SL? Because I okay. think they switched it recently, but okay. I always forget. Just a very classic black one, started with this one. I haven't, I've broken it out like maybe a few times, but I kind of got it at a weird time of the year. Mm -hmm. This next one I haven't even had the chance to wear. It's a men's, I think beta again. Honestly, we- It says it on the tag. It's a men's beta LT. 
I picked this up because this is my absolute favorite color. I love a steely blue, steely gray. And um, she's just gorgeous. But because it's an amends, it's an extra small. It's still a bit big, but I kind of like that. So next for trenches, these are the trenches that I'm always wearing. I find them both like absolutely staple trenches. This one's a leather trench coat that Kyron's mom gave me. And it's my absolute favorite piece to wear in the fall. It's like so elegant. I love it. This one I thrifted. It's London Fog and it's like this vibrant pink. I'd love to one day pick up a beige one or like a classic Burberry trench. But for now, these are my two best long jackets. I love these. And then we have my varsity jacket. So this one is by an old brand called Malice Studios. And this one I just thrifted and it's like a legitimate vintage jacket. These are the backs of both of them. I love the embroidery piece they did on this one. And this one, it's, it's, it's seen its days, you know, it has some wear, but I, I really love the way it's worn in. Okay, fine, pants, type for pants. I don't know why I just did that. Boom. Oh. Just classic Rick sweats. These are like, oh my God, a sock just fell out. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> to be honest, I took a lot of these out of di weird different places in my house to make this, so, okay. So yeah, these are, I think it's just called like classic long pants. Yeah, I, I don't I think remember those are the... the long drawstring pants. Something like yes, that. I think they're actually dark shadow. Yeah, yes, most of the, most of the Rick sweatpants are dark shadow. Right. Yeah. They're obviously pretty long, but I like that, and they go they sit great in all the boots I have. Next, we have probably my my most worn pants because I find that I can wear these anywhere. They look actually ridiculous when they're not on. They just look insane. But they're the Gop Chang 99% uh, pants. I got them in the classic black color because uh, I like and yeah, they're just so versatile. I know they don't seem versatile because they're kind of a wacky pant, but I wear them all the time. They are great. And then I got them in the shiny, shiny color. I think these were like a like a one, a, a seasonal thing. So I'm not sure that these will be back, but I'm obsessed with these. These get a lot of, uh, catch a lot of eyes. Let's just say that because they're very unconventional, especially on body. But they really go well with that like cyber core vibe that I really like. So these are like a staple when I'm in that mood. The next pair are these, which is the same pair of pants as I'm wearing, but they can look very different depending on what I wear them with. These are uh, the needles. Uh, no, the needles. What are they again? Uh, honestly, I'm not too sure what they're called. Okay, yeah, I don't remember what they're called, but they are kind of like a needles, super relaxed. They can be worn a lot of different ways. Love them. And these obviously fall better into my, like, when I wear my kind of more Americana style. These I got recently. I love how well insulated they are. And they go very well with, like, Gorp Core style outfits because they're very just practical and, like, athletic. They're by a brand called Tyon Mountain Wear. And they're sold on Essence. They're filled with down, which is great. So they keep you very warm. These are kind of a funny funky piece so so these pants are very funky they're from trip nyc which is like a go-to like goth brand and it's been around for so long it's like one of the only ones that's been long lived so they're super flared they're kind of like that classic like meme goth pant but they're honestly like super sick i i love seeing which ways i can style these they are very noisy though so you know when i'm coming when i'm wearing those <laughs> These are like this insane, these are like these insane leather suede type of pants. I can't believe I thrifted these because they are, well, they were brand new and they're just incredible to me. These are my absolutely favorite leather pants. They're this bright red and have like a fun little kind of, they're not like flared, but they have a nice, flattering cut at the bottom. Um, I just don't get a chance to pull these out too often because to be honest, they're not the most comfortable pant. Like they're pretty tight and they're stiff. They're snug leather, so yeah. So these next pants are my favorite jeans. I don't want to include too many jeans because I feel like it gets a little bit like relentless with the Levi's. So I'm just showing one pair. They have these blown out knees. I'm sure I've shown them before, but I'm just obsessed with them. They are a 505 and I don't know, they just they just sit in all the right places. So I really love these. The next pair is by the Open Product. I got these recently. I just haven't had a chance to wear them. I love them because they remind me of like a nursing pant. 
um, what are those called? Scrubs? But then they have these like crazy pockets on the sides that sit outside of the pant, almost as if they were inside out. And uh, I don't know, they're just very unconventional and I really like them. So I can't wait to actually be able to wear those. And lastly, these are these, okay, so they look absolutely massive, which they are, and they look crazy on as well. They are this like vintage military pant that I got off a reseller on Instagram, and they are just really great. They suit that kind of very London, they're very big in the UK right now. I feel like every person in the UK has a pair, but they're very rare to get here, and they're inspired off the snow pant. I forget by which brand though. Uh, Maharishi? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Okay, so next we'll move on to bags. I hung all my favorites on the wall. So these are just a few of my favorite hats. I'm kind of a trucker hat person. So this is this incredible embroidered one by St. Wood. And then my favorite one by LaRopa Life. So this is a fitted hat from uh, Hats LA. It's a custom that they made. And it says Playboy. Love it. <laughs> then for my bags, for my little handbags, I got this classic Prada bag. Hi, give me. Shoot them. And then this Fendi, 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 Fendi. Is this Fendi? Why am I having like an actual brain part? That is Fendi. Okay, yeah, it's Fendi. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Okay, so <laughs> this is my Fendi baguette. Ah, that was so weird. Um, yeah, she's cute. She's very cute. I like her a lot. Um, okay. Then this is a hand sewn bag that I made like, I don't know, four years ago now. And I just did it by cutting a bunch of pants up. But I then, I didn't know this at the time, but this is like a very popular Japanese uh, art to do. Yeah. I forget what it's called exactly. Um, similar to Bora, I guess you would say, but like it's not the stitch pattern. So it's like the method methodology without the stitch method. Yeah, so I didn't know that prior to making the bag, but yes. So then I have this capital kind of sling bag. I love this bag. It's actually not the most practical when wearing because it kind of like when you fill it up, it kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it slouches a bit weird in my opinion, but I like it to wear when it's like not too full. And then we have the famous cost bag. So I have the beige and the this cool kind of, I don't even know what kind of blue it is. I make the joke of saying it's cerulean blue, but I honestly don't know. Um, it's just, they they chose such an exotic blue. It's like, it's almost a weird blue yeah. to look at, but I kind of like it. Okay, then last bag, I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. I just added these little, these little guys that I'm really feeling right now. I just kind of, I find it kind of makes it playful. And yeah, I love this bag. It's the perfect size. It's the most classic Louis Vuitton bag, in my opinion, for like women's handbags. So yes, I'm, I, I like this one. I'm considering kind of like selling this one and getting one with maybe less of a dark patina. In time though, in time. So a few more accessories. This is something I picked up lately. It's kind of like a, I would say like a Russian fur band that you put just across the head. I really like this for the winter because I find it's a little like less boring than an actual hat and I love this gray color. Then I had these um, custom made by Carpal Tunnel Crochet on Instagram. This one is like a bunny balaclava with long bunny ears and just a hole for the eyes. And then this one is a hat with like super exaggerated bunny ears. I find this one so, so cute. It's just absolutely adorable. A few more beanies. This is my favorite Arctex beanie. This is CP Company hat, kind of a classic hat from them. And this one is by Lisa Lestrange, just a classic Paisley beanie. They do this in a lot of colorways. And then my favorite balaclava of the season is this Marine Serre balaclava. And it's just really fun. These are my three favorite sunglasses. I acquired them all within the last year, so I don't know the names of the models, but you, they're just all within the last two seasons, so if you wanna look them up, that might help. Um, I just felt like I got one for every kind of occasion. So these Chanel glasses, Kai got me. And they're very like girly and fun. They just give me kind of like good like summer vacation vibes. Um, and the frame is kind of like it's it's just very womanly. So these are like my fun glasses. Then these 
This was kind of a, a purchase I didn't know I was gonna do, but as soon as I tried them on, I just felt like, okay, they fit my face really well, which for me is like very rare with glosses. There's something about my face that they just don't sit right a lot of the time. So I couldn't resist. These are just Rick Owens glasses from the latest season. And they just have like boss bitch vibes. <laughs> These are, I know they're like kind of intense, but for me, this is like a pretty classic shade that I wear like every day or just in like more professional settings. And lastly, I'm so excited about these. I just got these, they're Balenci. And they are these gorgeous butterfly shades. <laughs> yeah, I love these. They're so exotic and like crazy. And these are my funnest like runway type shades so you would think that i'd only pull these out on occasion but i'm going to wear these like every day and i don't care who it scares because last time i wore them people were a little weirded out but that's okay and next no last but i'm not <laughs> last but not least but it's actually not last but not least so i'm gonna save the last but not least and we're gonna do the palmo stuff and then i'm gonna do shoes Alrighty, quick outfit change so this is my Palmo Goods haul. These are incredible. Incredible. Like, come on. As soon as I saw these, I was like, if they don't fit, I will cry because I'm obsessed. And I don't have like a classic pair of Carhartt distressed carpenter pants for a uh, Instagram discovery page. <laughs> Finally got my hands on the perfect pair. You showed it back again. They're just so like nasty for lack of a better word. And they're so cool. Love them. Then I got a few classic tees because even when I'm wearing tees, I like the tees to be, you know, a little funny, a little funky. So this one said, Réveille moi. <laughs> what does it say again? Réveille moi doucement. Je suis pas réveillé. That's not my actual French, but <laughs> I just find it funny. And there's a little, bull, a little sleepy bulldog. Yeah, very cute. And then this. This one I just found so cute. It's like a puff print, some sailors. Um, I don't know why I just could not resist this shirt. I just thought it was adorbs and the color is beautiful. It's powdery yellow and uh, yeah. Ooh, now that I'm looking at it, it goes perfectly with the bag. We might have to do something about that. Let's see. Then I got the scarf slash blanket that I was obsessed with. And you know what? I probably will cut it in some way to make it make more sense as someone suggested, so thank you. Um, but yeah, she's perfect. I don't know what else to say. Now we are going to do the last piece from Palmo, which is this bomber. So yeah, just bomber vibes, super bomber vibes, good bomber. Um, good scrunched arms, love a ruched arm, super flattering. Uh, wore it the other day with some camo pants and those Balenciaga sunglasses and it was kind of insane. With Uggs. With Uggs. It was a vibe. Yeah, it was cool. a vibe. Uh, you said it looked very Balenciaga. Yeah, yeah. yeah very dumb nah. Uh, very very dumb nah. you know. So yeah, that's it for the... Wait, what the fuck is this? Who put this there? Is that me? That wasn't there before. There's just garms everywhere, right? Eh? Okay, well, there's nothing in that one. So we're going to end the video off with my favorite part, shoes. Time for boots. Boots are my new obsession. I'm obsessed with any kind of fur boot or fun boot. These I thrifted miraculously. They're by a Canadian brand, Bilado, and they're actually like an, a for real snowstorm boot. Um, they're used a lot in the Northern Territories. They are calf hair and uh, they've served me very well. They're the most insane boots. I just can't really wear them that often because the slush and salt and disgusting shit on the street here would just ruin them so i have to wait for days of fresh snow which is like actually ridiculous um but that's the case with all of my boots it's a very hard climate to keep things nice here anything below the knee just gets splattered in like actual dirt so these are like a funky pair of fur boots they're inspired from the Celine ones right yeah so yes i don't know they're, they're just funky i just like them and then these Le pièce feel, de résistance. I feel like they all channel the energy of like Rick because there's a lot of fur boots that Rick does now, right? Yes. Yeah? But this is the head on show. Like, come on now, 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 come on now. This was really the piece of the season, okay? So, 
I'm like, when I got this, I was like, okay, we're not playing anymore. So just like, do I have to say anything? Like, just enjoy, like feast your eyes, enjoy. Moment of silence. Okay, we're done with those. We're gonna get into some sneaks. Ah! Easy foam runners, so comfortable. These are like the orig the most original shade, I guess I would say, like yeah. the OG shade. Yeah. Um, just actually so comfortable. I've worn them a lot and like this, they're not that worn out. So good job, Kanye. He did well. My new obsession. These are from the brand Yume Yume. I might be saying it completely wrong, but you know, that's the way it goes. So these are like fun. They have a strap. Once again, really great with like cyber or like they go really well with like Japanese, my the Japanese pieces I have in my closet as well. I'm wearing the like clog version right now. Please. <laughs> um, just, yeah, so yeah, clogs, super fun. But these are just, these are just my babies. Okay. These ones, it's a shame they haven't had some miles on them. But I actually don't mind because I'm very much a person that likes to keep my sneakers pristine. Like, it hurts me so badly when they get dirty. So, these are 992s. Oh, yeah. Really good colorway. Um, had to snag them. And, yeah. Woo! <laughs> trying to tell me something. <laughs> Um, these are my like favorite New Balances because of the comfort. Uh, these are the 990s. I got these in New York and they're V3s, which I actually looked recently and it's a heritage collection. So these were released this summer, right? <laughs> the way I like check everything, I'm like, right? <laughs> so yeah, these were like released in the summer and we were super confused because we were like, why is there a V3 shoe at Kith? Yeah. And yeah, it, it turns out it's a whole thing. So just, yeah, beautiful shoe. Can't say anything else. Sullivan! What are these even called again? XT6s. XT6. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um obviously these have glued up for like two years. So nothing special, but this colorway Kai and I both couldn't resist. It's a seasonal colorway. The white ones I have get pretty dark. I kind of regret it. But yeah, like these a lot. Um, I don't think I've ever worn these. The thing that's making me disgusted with myself in this video is I'm realizing that one, I haven't worn a lot of my stuff, which is not good. And the other thing is that I know the names of absolutely nothing. I'm not that, uh, I'm not knowledgeable like Kai. I don't remember all the fucking names. Oh, yeah, my mom watches this. <laughs> I don't like swearing. Yeah. Beauty. Let's move on to some Jordans. So these are just Jordan 1. Retro High. OG twist. Oh yeah, I know the name of this one though. Um, it was originally Panda when it came out though. I'm pretty sure it has some nice kind of fur. And yeah, she's she's cute now. She's very cute. These are what made me disgusted with the prices of reselling because I got this for retail and then we look, like if you look on StockX right now, it's probably over a thousand dollars, which is just mind blowing. Classic Rick Owens Ramones. Wouldn't be a shoe collection if these weren't in the, the vault, you know? Um, these are great. I have nothing else to say about them. I actually wear the bumper platform ones more because they're just more of a pop, but these are great and I should probably pull them out more. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's a bunch of heebu jeebu. Like just, if you like it, just get it. And the quality is, if anything, from what I've seen, Equal, if not better. Oops, I said it there. Oh my God, I just said it. Sorry, every Dark Shadow piece I have is holding up better than mainline. So just take that into consideration, folks. Did that seem pretentious? Possibly. Jordan 4, white Oreo. White Oreo? Or is it cement something? Anyways, got these this summer um, cause I was looking for a Jordan 4 in I, yeah, I have nothing to say. I don't know. They're great. Um, I got them a size too small. My mistake. So I'm going to have to probably sell these and get another Jordan Ford. But uh, they're gorgeous. Oh my God, Kyra. <laughs> uh, this one's trying to kill me. So yeah, ROAs. Don't get me started on ROAs because it's a dangerous conversation. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. They're my absolute favorite shoe ever. A hiking shoe too. Who would have thought? But... They're just great. They're the most comfortable, wearable, versatile, beautiful shoe in the world to me. Um, I can't stop raving about ROAs to everyone I meet. It's like a little bit, it's getting weird. And this colorway I'm obsessed with, it's like pink and brown, which are just beautiful colors together. And then a little white, uh, 
yellow detail. I love these uh, laces because they remind me of like sailing um, sailing ropes, like when you tie the jib and the sheet up with it. So it's a little nostalgic, fun, fun, fun. And yeah, that concludes my closet tour. Thank you for checking in. I hope some of my pieces were interesting. I know there's a lot of different styles in my closet and that's something I'm working on cutting down because I feel like the beauty is to have your style be signature to you and like people can be like, oh, that's something they'd wear. But I don't feel like I quite have that yet because it's been all over the map and I go through phases every like two days. So we're working on it. Um, hopefully in like a year from now, I can say it's a little more curated, it makes a little more sense, but I'm happy with what I have. And I feel like I've expanded and like invested a lot more in like better pieces, better basics, and I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. Oh my God, no, 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 come back. So yeah, um, oh no, no, no. <sighs> okay, disclaimer, haven't, sat in front of the camera in like a year. So it's weird, boring territory. Um, sorry if it was boring or yeah. So, okay, bye.